Hi there, I'm Black Bright. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, as usual, just put the thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe or share. Um, today I thought I would talk about Black Friday since every day it's on our screens and we've had all different reasons about why it's called Black Friday. So why is it called Black Friday? Apparently in 1869 there was a gold crash in the United States and that's how originally it got its name. There's also um, the rumour that it was associated with slaves being um, put up for sale the day after Thanksgiving as a discount. Apparently that is not true. Um, I don't know if it's not true because it's really not true or because people were boycotting it and saying, you know, that they made that relationship. They made that relationships between slaves and Black Friday. And of course, they depend on black people to spend their money. So therefore, if black people are going to boycott it because they believe it has um, a link with how slaves were sold, to make a bargain or whatever they were supposed to do, they're supposed to be sold at a bargain um, after Thanksgiving today, then they're going to have to try to rectify that. So I don't know if it's true. Apparently, um, they reckon that it came out in 2000... Let me read it anyway. The first recorded use of the term Black Friday was a applied not to holiday shopping but to financial crisis specifically the crash of the u.s gold market in september 24 1869 the earliest known published reference to this explanation occurs in the philadelphia inquirer for november 28 18 1981 then in 2013 an internet rumour alleged that the phrase originated in the American South before the Civil War from the practice of selling slaves on the day after Thanksgiving. The use of Black Friday as a descriptor for the day after Thanksgiving has nothing to do with selling slaves, so they say and the term didn't originate until nearly a century after the practice of slavery was abolished in the US. So, the earliest known use of Black Friday in such a context stems from 1951 and referred to the practice of workers calling in sick on the day after Thanksgiving in order to have four consecutive days off because that day was not yet commonly offered as a paid day off by employers. They also say that by 1961, the term Black Friday and Black Saturday as well were being commonly used in derisive sense by Philadelphia police who had to deal with the mayhem and headaches caused by all the extra pedestrians and vehicular traffic created by the hordes of shopping heading for cities downtown stores on the two days after Thanksgiving. However, when Tony Braxton distributed the flyer saying, it, saying that Black Friday had to do with discounts of slaves, it, it actually caused a boycott. They were asked to boycott shopping on Black Friday. So we have to ask ourselves, you know, we don't know. I mean, did somebody just create that slave page with Black Friday and put it on there? I don't think anybody's going to just come up with the idea and it doesn't come from somewhere. It must come, it must have come up from somewhere. But like I said, if it's going to affect sales, they're not going to admit that it is associated with slaves. So all I'm saying is they're saying it's not true. Um, Snopes is another website that normally um, tells you whether something is a hoax or something is true. Apparently they're saying it's not true. It's got nothing to do with slavery and the selling of slaves at a discount. But who knows? When has anybody in the media given us an honest um, and transparent description or explanation of anything? Everything is said to serve a purpose. We don't know what the purpose is. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's false. But I wanted to put it out there 
the different reasons why they say Black Friday got its name. And I'll leave it to you to deduce. What you want to do with it is up to you. Bye-bye.